This local sports report is brought to you by M&T Printing, offering banners, brochures, business cards, and more. Check out their website for a wide range of printed products at mtprint.com. We absolutely love sharing positive success stories here on 519 Sports. Today, we've got one from Brantford. This is Noah D. Dominicus, who recently signed a Division I soccer scholarship at St. Bonaventure University in New York. Amazing, Noah. Congratulations. What's it been like the last little while since you signed? And just what are some of the emotions of achieving this goal in your life? Yeah, first off, thanks for having me, Darren. I really appreciate it. Um, you know, some of the uh, emotions that I've been going through would be, you know, excitement, I think, is the biggest one, just because, you know, my recruiting process wasn't very easy. It was it was pretty difficult because of the pandemic and COVID and everything going on. So, you know, it's it was a big relief to sign in a way. But, you know, I'm also excited to, you know, get started at a Division One program and, and just see where where soccer can take me. You're the only one really who knows how much work went into this and to sign a division one scholarship in the United States is, is just incredible. And not everybody has the opportunity to do that. How much work went into it and how proud are you Noah to see that work paying off with this? Oh, I'm definitely, you know, so proud of, you know, everything that I've put into this and, and just to see it, you know, already paying off. I mean, this isn't the long-term goal, but it was definitely one of the stepping stones to where I want to get in my career. So I'm definitely very proud and excited to, uh, to have signed. What is the long-term goal? My long-term goal would be to play professional soccer in, you know, some capacity, ultimately, you know, sign a big contract over in Europe, play in the Champions League, but also... MLS, you know, trying to get signed out of, you know, the NCAA has the MLS super draft. So that would be one of the, uh, the goals of mine would be to be identified as an MLS talent and potentially get drafted. Why was St. Bonaventure a good fit for you? It has to be a good fit on both sides, right? You have to like them and they have to like you. When you made your decision, why was that the place that you said, yes, that's where I absolutely want to go? Well, you know, it was a combination of everything. Like you said, you know, it has to come from both sides. And I think that, you know, Coach Oduro is, uh, is really looking forward to having me down. And I'm really looking forward to, you know, getting down there and showing him what I can do and proving him right. And, uh, you know, of course, the academic side is huge. Yeah. And uh, their academics are, you know, next to none. Their business school is great. And uh, they had the program that I wanted. Their soccer match is what I'm looking for. They're in a really good conference, you know. So everything just kind of lined up perfectly for me in that way. You're a striker. Obviously, you know, scoring is a big part of your game. Yep. How do you fit in there? How do you fit in at the next level? And really, what are you hoping to bring when you go in the fall of 2021? You're going in six months or so to Allegheny, New York. How do you see yourself fitting in? Obviously, you're moving to a higher level of soccer. I, you're ready, and I think you know that, and I know that. Um, but what are you expecting when you get there? Um, you know, I'm expecting to have to fight for a starting spot. I know it's not going to be easy, but, you know, I think in the near future, I could definitely see myself contributing to this program and, you know, being the guy that's able to put the ball in the back of the net for, for the team and help, you know, propel the team in the right direction. Um, I think there's a really promising group of guys coming in in this recruiting class, you know, myself included. And I think that we can just, you know, push the program in the right direction and, and really get everything rolling. You played Bixa soccer for a couple of years at St. John's College with the Green Eagles in grade nine and 10. Let's touch on that experience first, both from an academic perspective and an athletic perspective. How did the teachers and the coaches make you a better player and a better person, Noah? Uh, well, yeah, they definitely helped me both on and off the field, you know, especially with Coach Peter Pomponio, who was a former professional himself. He really helped to kind of shape the player that I am today and, and really helped me further my skill and my talent in soccer um as for the academics i think you know sjc is a great school to go to the academics are, are top notch all the teachers they want to see you succeed they'll help you they'll help you after hours you know their lessons are great so just i can't thank any of them enough Hamilton United, also a major 
part of your development. What can you say about your experience there and how they made you a better player as well? Oh yeah, for sure. You know, Hamilton's a great club, a great organization, and, and they bring in some of the top coaching talents from, you know, around the province. So I've definitely had a number of coaches there that have helped me specifically uh, Andrew Dorea, who has been a huge help in my recruiting process. Um, he, uh, he's actually an alumni of St. Bonaventure. So he kind of pushed me in the right direction in that sense. And, and he, uh, he knew the coach. So that's how I kind of got into contact with him. And ultimately I found the school that I wanted to go to. So yeah, I can't thank Hamilton enough. You and I first met a couple of years ago uh, at the Alliance Hockey Championship. We should mention that Noah is a multi-sport athlete and a very talented multi-sport athlete. High-level soccer, clearly with your Division One scholarship. But you also played AAA hockey with the Brantford 99ers. And you scored the game-winning goal in the deciding game at the Activa Sportsplex against Kitchener. Uh, what do you remember about that night, about that game, and about that goal? I know you're going to have great memories. You're going to make great memories at St. Bonaventure, uh, but they can never take that goal away from you or that championship. And I imagine it's just great thoughts when you think back on it, Noah. Oh, yeah. You know, I, I'll never forget that night, you know, winning the Alliance in, in my minor midget year, you know, draft year for all the guys. I just, I don't know, words can't describe, you know, what, what I was feeling, what I still feel now when I think about it, you know, it's, it's just a great feeling and a great memory to have, you know, all those guys are still, still talk to most of those guys, still hang out with them when we can, you know, obviously not right now because of COVID, but, you know, it's just, it's, it kind of leaves me speechless, you know, thinking about it, just a great feeling. You weren't speechless on the ice after the game. I'll tell you that we did a great <laughs> interview and you were super happy and, and super pumped. And, and I remember it well, and I was really happy for the 99ers. You know, they had just won back to back U16 championships and, and really uh, an amazing run led by coach Scott Rex. What made that group so special in, in your mind? What made it click? Why did all the spokes on the wheel come together at the right time for you guys to be able to do what you did? Oh, you know, it's just, I think it's, accumulation of all the years that we spent together you know the team chemistry that we had right. it's just that group of guys was so fun to be around and everyone knew their role on the ice everyone was just happy to you know be a part of the team culture that we had and I think ultimately the team chemistry is really what what really pushed us to you know winning the alliance the passion for soccer obviously you're a high level hockey player but, you know, soccer was the thing that, that you really focused on growing up and it, it's where you wanted to go. When did you get into the game and, and where did that really develop from? Because obviously you played minor soccer growing up, but to reach this level and this Division One scholarship at St. Bonaventure University it is an amazing accomplishment for you. How did it all kind of start and, and just get to this point? Um, well, you know, my dad was my coach when I was really young. Right. He was he was the the one that kind of pushed soccer on me and uh you know I started playing you know as soon as I could walk like the same time I started playing hockey so I was always it was always there and you know I just I don't know something something about how I played the game you know I was just naturally gifted at it so my dad you know wanted me to keep playing and obviously I wanted to keep playing too because it's it's my passion now and uh I don't know just you know, always trying to be the best that I can be, always trying to push to get to the next level. And, you know, that's just kind of how it came about, just trying to be the best that I can be. What message would you send to other athletes who see this, who want to achieve the same thing that you did? I think a lot of people could look up to you, whether it be in the Brantford area, Kitchener, Waterloo, Cambridge, Guelph. A lot of people have this goal to play in the NCAA Division One. What would your message be to those younger players now, now that you've put yourself in this position to go to Allegheny, New York? I would definitely say never give up. That would be my biggest message because, you know, the recruiting process can be brutal. It can be, it can, it has its highs and it has its lows, you know, so just don't get discouraged when it's at its low points because when the high points come, it's, it's great.
I'm sure there is a ton of people that we didn't mention here in the last couple of minutes that had an effect on you over the course of your career. An opportunity, Noah, an open mic for you to say thank you and give your shout outs to the people that helped you along the way and helped get you to St. Bonaventure University. Yeah, uh, I just want to thank, you know, first and foremost, my parents for, you know, putting me in all the right positions to really get this opportunity and for always believing in me. Um, I want to thank Andrew Durea because he was a huge help during my recruiting process. I want to thank uh, Coach Peter Pomponio and Coach Carmen Romano because they have helped me, you know, at, at St. John's playing for the soccer team. They've been a huge help. They've really helped me become the player that I am today and the one that has a D1 scholarship. Um, I want to thank everyone for supporting me, you know, from all my friends, all of, you know, my bigger, wider family, just everyone for helping me and supporting me and, you know, all my coaches for really helping shape the player that I am today. And the person you've become today as well, a quality individual. We're all 519 proud of you, Noah D. Dominicus. Congratulations on heading to St. Bonaventure University. We can't wait to see what the future holds. And I'm sure we'll be in touch here at 519 Sports Online as you continue to grow and excel in the sport you love. Thanks for the time. Thank you for having me, Darren. For more highlights, visit our website, 519sportsonline.ca. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.